What's up everybody, I'm Scott Bino. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are going to do a little unboxing here. Um, this one scares me a little bit. It's a bit freaky how this has been packed. I mean, kudos to the seller for doing this for me. Uh, this was a favor to have them pack this up and ship it to me, so thank you for doing that if you're watching this video. Um, but the thing that scares me about this is that this particular guitar does not have a case. It didn't come with a case. So uh, this is literally the guitar wrapped in bubble wrap and thrown into a box. Uh, fingers crossed that it's in one piece. Um, it's no surprise what is in this box. I put it in the title of this video. This is one of sort of one of my white whale guitars. I've wanted one of these for a long time. It's a Matt Tuck Signature Rhodes Jackson guitar. Uh, this is the white one. I really want the silver sparkle. I'm still looking for one. I will find one one day. Uh, this one is fairly beat up. It's not in the greatest condition. I'm thinking about maybe restoring it or even having it completely stripped and doing a repaint, but that's for another video maybe. But uh, the interesting thing about this particular guitar is that it's bought from the original owner, but this individual had the guitar stolen from them years ago uh, and it popped up on Facebook Marketplace and they got it back. But when they did get it back, it was missing the case and it was pretty beat up. Um, and now it's with me and um, I'm just hoping that it's in one piece. So uh, let's get on with it. Let's unbox this guitar. Whoa, bonus Snow White movie posters. Sweet, Aladdin. Classic, Beauty and the Beast. All right, so here it is. It is in fact in one piece, thankfully. Um, it's pretty rough though. I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll try and cut in some close-up shots of this as I'm talking. Um, if I had to describe this guitar as a person, it looks like it doesn't wash its balls. It's really gross. It's really nasty. Uh, there's all sorts of DNA on the fretboard. Uh, it's missing a string, so um, that's not a big deal. I mean, I would have changed the strings obviously anyways, but I'm not gonna play this for you today, unfortunately, because it's just disgusting. Um, I will in a future video once I clean this up. Um, the headstock is okay. Uh, a couple bumps, a couple bruises. Uh, the back of the neck is actually not too bad. It's the cleanest part of this whole guitar. There's a small scratch um, around the 12th fret, but nothing major. Uh, the back of the guitar is okay. A um, couple little bumps. Again, nothing crazy. Uh, the top has a couple pretty good gouges and gashes. Uh, and then the tips, uh, no surprise are completely fucking mangled. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm debating what to do with this. Maybe you can uh, vote down in the comments below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should do. Either leave it as is and just play it and enjoy it or completely pull this thing apart, strip it down and refinish it. Either maybe restoring it back to its original kind of white and black glory uh, or do something completely wild and different. I had an idea of doing like a pink sparkle or something crazy with this. I thought that would be kind of neat. So um yeah, maybe. We'll see. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do with this guitar. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.